with that final buzzer. The Pioneers defeat the Bulldogs by a score of 79 to 64. Gabrielle Washington, 21 points on the day, leading all scorers for both teams. That said, uh, you know, the superstar didn't have that good a game offensively, but everybody else picked up, especially the freshman Washington. She was great, she was great from the line. Norman played great at point. Uh, down low. Yeah, I'm sorry. Down low was Merriman. And that was it. That was the key oh, yeah. to success tonight. Seemed like one of the other keys to this game was the role players like Blair Konoszewski, like Merriman, making those shots when they needed to, and it really helped boost them because they were left wide open. Yeah, absolutely, man. I, could, I couldn't agree more. That's what, that's what turned this thing around. And Washington, of course, controlling the tempo for the game. The Pioneers improve to 18 and six on the season. 11 and two inside the Northeast Conference. The Bryan Bulldogs now 13 and 11 on the year, six and seven overall. Yeah, can I uh, player from the coach? Six and seven right now in the Bryan is the Bryan Bulldogs. 22 for 53 overall for the Bulldogs. Nine for 15 from field goals. 33 to 28 at the halftime for Bryant. In the second half, it was a takeover for the Sacred Heart Pioneers, outscoring the Bulldogs 51 to 31. Zero, one, six, eight, nine, one. And both teams will square off again this round. It is NEC Rivalry Week. And in just a few days, this coming Wednesday, the Sacred Heart Pioneers will travel to Bryant to face off against the Bulldogs in the home and home matchup in this basketball set. Washington, the star player for the Pioneers today, scoring 21 points, having two fouls and a few, and overall, had three assists, maybe that one, but really controlled the tempo. Erica Norman, eight assists, the point guard for the Pioneers, really set the tempo, set the pace, and to begin the game, the Pioneers had a large lead of 18-8 to, to start. Defensive battle, that press defense was kept throughout the game, got a little bit sloppy after that, and that's when Bryant took control. They tied the game, they took the 10 point lead, and they had the momentum going into the half. They had pushed the tempo to where they needed it to be. Their offense was great. They were pretty well efficient from downtown. The three pointers were working well. Whittington um, had a big game for the Bulldogs. Had 14 points today, but more or less set the tone as the point guard for the Bulldogs in this matchup here. Second half opened up, and it was more or less that back and forth action. You had neck and neck, both teams going at it, the offensive battle, one shot after another, both teams going to each end. It was that fast-paced offense that really helped both teams do well in the second half. Fort unfortunately for the Bulldogs, they couldn't keep the tempo. They lost out on their pace. The big shift of momentum for the Pioneers was able to give them the victory. And an underrated, potentially underrated fact about today's game is the way the role players have played. Coming off the bench, Blair Konoszewski and Morgan Merriman really had star performances today in this game. And the Pioneers looking to win the Northeast Conference for the first time in just a few years, having a spectacular season, being led by senior Callan Taylor. End of the game with about four points today. It's not always about how you start, it's about how you finish. The final score today 
from the William H. Pitt Center. The Pioneers 79. And the Bryant Bulldogs 64. Game time about an hour and a half. 20, two 20 minutes half. Combined with the timeouts. And you're looking at the halftime performances. Both teams back to the drawing board. Ed Swanson and the Lady Bat Pioneers can celebrate the victory today. Knowing that they have a rematch with these very same Bulldogs this coming Wednesday at Bryant University. And both teams using contributing factors from each of these games. The Bryant Bulldogs looking to rebound in their rematch. The Bryant Bulldogs have not won a game against the Pioneers since 2008. The Pioneers have now won six straight against the Bulldogs in a series that now has the Pioneers on top, eight to seven, in a rivalry that started in 1981, where the Bulldogs blew it open with wins in their overall record. The rivalry will continue next week. And pretty much since both teams joined the Northeast Conference and the Division I level, the Pioneers have excelled on the basketball court. A few more games left to go in the season. Pioneers looking to more or less win out. They're looking to have success the rest of the way, win the conference, and hope for whatever comes after that. Brian Bulldogs um, certainly have a lot of work to do. They need a few more wins. They are right now going into today sixth in the conference, in the Northeast Conference, uh, with 13 wins. And they are now six and seven inside the conference, something that's definitely not good for them, something definitely need to work on. The tempo was great. The fans were great. There's an overall atmosphere that was absolutely amazing. Pandemonium at shoe, for sure. So this afternoon, the Sacred Heart Pioneers defeated the Bryant Bulldogs by a score of 79-64. to 64. For Dan Otzel and the rest of the crew here, I'm Vinny Abinu, saying so long and see you around the court.